Hey guys, this is going to be a quick workflow video showing you how to install and shoot RAW on your Canon 60D camera. First things first, you want to search up Magic Lantern on Google. Go to their homepage and click on the Downloads tab. In this tab, we're going to be looking at the nightly builds. Simply click on Browse Nightly Builds. Once here, click on your camera model. Then all you have to do is click Download. Once that is finished downloading, it's going to be on a zip file on your computer. Click on the zip file so it will expand into a folder. In this folder, you will see a few files. What you want to do is plug in your pre-formatted SD card, 32 gigabytes or less, and simply drag all of those files into your SD card. I would recommend formatting your camera, formatting this on your camera. Now, once that is in there, simply eject the SD card, and we're going to move to the camera. Make sure your camera is in M for manual mode. Plug in your SD card. And then turn your camera on. Once it is on, you're going to hit the menu button and navigate to the firmware version 1.1.1. Click on that and then click OK to update. This will install Magic Lantern on your camera. As you can see, it says, please restart your camera. Simply turn your camera off, wait for the center cleaning to finish, and then turn your camera back on. I'm turning the dial to video mode just so I can see that Magic Lantern is installed. Now, I know you guys are here wanting to shoot raw video, so I'm gonna show you how to set that up. Luckily, in the nightly builds now, raw video is actually included in your modules. As you can see in the movie tab, there is no raw video enabled or any option that you can use. So navigate to the right to the modules tab. You're going to scroll down until you see a raw underscore record.mo. You can click Q to view more options and read about it. But for this instance, we're going to click OK and it will load on the next reboot. So simply turn off your camera and then turn it back on. Now, as you can see, if we hit the trash can, which activates Magic Lantern, we can scroll over to the movie tab and scroll down to see raw video. We can actually enable this by just selecting the set button, which is OK. And in here, you can see all your settings to change it up. But I recommend a 1728 by 19 or 972 video mode. You can experiment with it, but since we have the Canon 60D, we can only get about 300 frames or so. So now that you can see that the RAW is enabled, just click the record button and you can see what you're doing. Also, I would recommend setting the buffer so that you can see what is going on and how many frames you're actually going to get. So just navigate to Magic Lantern and go in the RAW video mode and then click on show buffer graph. This will basically show you a blue line of what is buffering so then you can tell when you're ready to shoot again. All right, now that we're done with the camera, we're just gonna go back into the computer and plug your SD card in. As you can see, you get a .raw file. You can open it with Photoshop, but I would totally recommend downloading raw to DNG. It should be the fourth link or so. I will put it in the description, Bitbucket, and then click on the raw to DNG app, the 13 one. That's the most updated one. Last time they updated this program was in 2013, but hey, it still works. Now, once you install that program, it's a simple box, drag files to process. It only works in a folder though. So you have to create a new folder and then drag your raw folder or raw file into that folder. Now, once you have it in your folder, simply drag your raw file into the raw to DNG app. It'll say file supported, and as you can see, in the folder that I'm about to open up, you will notice all these DNG files. Now, you can either use QuickTime Pro 7 and create an image sequence with all these DNGs to create a simple movie right away, but I'm going to use Lightroom because I like to edit the photos individually. Now, once I import those photos into Lightroom, I'm gonna simply edit them to my pleasing. Now you can look at other YouTube tutorials on how to edit raw images, but this is just what I did. 
as you can see, that's all my settings and all my editing. And then I'm gonna synchronize that with every other picture. So you simply have to click on the picture that you're editing and then click on the sync button to the right in Lightroom. That'll sync up every other photo like that one. Now you wanna click Command Shift E to open up this export box and then export it to any destination that you want just so you can get to it later. If you're not familiar with any of this that I'm doing in Lightroom, I would heavily advise watching some tutorial videos on Lightroom before watching this video then. But yeah, once these videos are exported, or I mean still images are exported, you're gonna go into your video editing program. In this case, I'm gonna use Premiere Pro. You wanna make your still image default duration one frame per second, considering I shot this at 30 frames per second and the video is gonna be 30 frames per second. Now you're gonna to go to your exported video or still images from Lightroom and then just simply drag them into your editing program. We will right click on all the images and nest them so it puts them together in one located video. As you can see, that is the raw video. Now you can check this out. This is a video that I did previously. If this helped you out, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.